What is Geodata? Geodata is location information stored in a geographic information system, GIS. Types of geographic data. As it turns out, there's not one single type of geodata. Instead geodata exists in various forms. For example, we commonly use vector and raster to depict geodata. Vector files. Vector data consists of vertices and paths. The three basic types of vector data are points, lines and polygons, areas. Each point, line and polygon has a spatial reference frame such as latitude and longitude. First, vector points are simply Xi coordinates. Secondly, vector lines connect each point or vertex with paths in a particular order. Finally, polygons join a set of vertices. Two raster files. Raster data is made up of pixels or grid cells. Commonly, they are square and regularly spaced. But rasters can be rectangular as well. Rasters associate values to each pixel. Continuous rasters have values that gradually change such as elevation or temperature. But discrete rasters set each pixel to a specific class. For example, we represent land cover classes to a set of values. Geographic database. The purpose of geographic databases is to house vectors and rasters. Databases store geographic data as a structured set of data slash information. For example, A3 geodatabases, geopackages and spatialite are the most common types of geographic databases. Web files. As the internet becomes the largest library in the world, geodata has adapted with its own types of storage and access. For example, GeoJSON, GeoRSS and web mapping services were built specifically to serve and display geographic features over the internet. Additionally, online platforms such as A3's AppGIS Online allow organizations to build data warehouses in the cloud. Multi-temporal Multi-temporal data attaches a time component to information. But multi-temporal geodata not only has a time component, but a geographic component as well. For example, weather and climate data tracks how temperature and meteorological information changes in time in a geographical context. Other examples of multi-temporal geodata are demographic trends and land use patterns. Geodata themes. You can group geodata into as many themes as you want. They can be as broad or as narrow to your liking. Here are examples of geographic themes, cultural, administrative, boundaries, cities and planning, socio-economic data, demographics, economy and crime, transportation, roads, railways and airport, physical, environmental data, agriculture, soils and climate, hydrography data, oceans, lakes and rivers, elevation data, terrain and relief, sources for geodata. Currently, there's no single website that holds all the geodata in the world. Instead they branch out into what they are most specialized in. For example, OpenStreetMap data is the largest crowdsourced GIS database in the world providing countless applications for the public. Thanks for watching do like, share and subscribe our channel Geogyan for latest update.